Hey there, it's Elliot. Today, we're tackling that dreaded iPhone locked to owner message. The iCloud activation lock that can damage your day. We're talking iPhones, iPads, and even Apple Watches. These devices are great, but not when locked out, right? You can try some of the fancy software or services you've seen online that promise a quick fix. But let's be real, some are sketchy, overpriced, and sometimes fail to deliver. That's why we're here. I will walk you through many ways to obliterate this lock on your own. Safer, quicker ways that won't cost you a penny. And the best part? They're all legal and guaranteed to work. So brace yourself because we're about to unlock the secrets to bypassing that iCloud activation lock with just a click. Let's get into it. Before we continue, the guide owns only their device. We're not here to help unlock stolen devices or break any rules. We're all about respecting the law, other people's rights, and YouTube's rules. Now that we've got that sorted, let's dive back in. Now, a buddy of mine recently got caught up in this iCloud locked situation. He'd picked up this sleek iPhone at a second-hand shop, but realized it was iCloud locked. Imagine his frustration. But then he stumbled upon safe unlocks. It was a breeze, and he unlocked his phone without hassle. And then you've also got iUnlock app, another solid choice for getting rid of that annoying iPhone lock to owner message. Quite a few folks I know have had smooth sailing using iUnlock app. Then there's Unlock Here's AI powered unlocking web app. It's like having your very own tech whiz working through the problem. It's super straightforward and efficient, not to mention it's AI powered. How cool is that? Last but not least, we've got Lock to Owner. It's like the new kid on the block, but don't let that fool you. They're quite the contender when it comes to iCloud unlock services. Each of these services has its strengths, and it's all about finding what works best for your situation. All right, now that we've laid out your options, let's take a closer look at how to use Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant in the next step. Stay tuned for that. Just a heads up, these unlocking services typically work best in first world countries. If you're having trouble accessing or would not use them, don't sweat it. We've got a sweet deal for you. Every week, we give away 250 unlocks to our loyal viewers. To be in with a chance to win, it's as simple as one, two, three. Here's what you've got to do. Hit the like button on this video. Subscribe to our channel. Comment below with your devices model, like Samsung S9, IMEI, and country. Once you've completed these steps, you're automatically entered into the Unlock giveaway. So go ahead and get involved. All right, here's how it works with unlockhere.com, an AI-powered web app that can tackle any mobile phone restriction you're dealing with. First, you will head to unlockhere.com on your phone's web browser or computer. Once you're there, you'll see Nifty, the AI bot. Let Nifty know you're looking to unlock your iCloud by clicking on Activation Lock. Then, you'll select which device you're dealing with. In this case, we're choosing an iPhone, but you could also select an iPad or Apple Watch if you have those. This next part is important. You've got to enter your device's IMEI or serial number. Every iPhone has an IMEI, but an iPad or Apple Watch might only have a serial number, especially if it doesn't have a SIM card slot. You can find this information on your locked device. Just press the sleep button, hit it again, and tap on the I at the bottom right. This will show you your device info. Don't forget, on the next step, you'll need to put in your device information. Next, you must enter basic info to link the order to your account. Ensure the information is correct so you can get your order confirmation. They'll email you a confirmation code that you'll need later. Just check that you agree with the terms and are not trying to unlock a stolen device. Solve the quick CAPTCHA to prove you're not a bot, then hit Start Process. At this point, you should have received an email with a confirmation code. If you don't see it, check your spam or junk folder. Grab that code and head back to the Unlock Here website. You'll need to enter it there and prove you're not a robot again. As soon as you've entered the code, your unlock process will get started. And before you know it, your device will be free from that lock. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And there it is. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to set it all up later. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the rest of the steps and just do it all later on. 
And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now, go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here you can just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. And yeah, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. That's it for this method. It's pretty easy, right? Now, stick around because we've got more for those who want a different approach. All right, guys, let's explore alternative ways to remove the iCloud activation lock. We're always looking for the most efficient tricks and ideas, and that's precisely what we've got for you. First, it's essential to understand the role of iCloud activation lock. It's a security feature that prevents unauthorized use of your device, but it can sometimes get in the way when we forget our access info or buy a second-hand device. Now, a legal method to remove this lock is contacting Apple support. It sounds simple, right? But there's a catch. You'll need to provide proof of purchase and often the original receipt from when the device was bought new. It's a bit of a long shot, especially when dealing with pre-owned devices. So always think about that when buying a used iPhone or iPad. Another option is to contact the previous owner if you can. They might be able to remove the device from their iCloud account by lifting the iCloud lock. But again, this depends a lot on your circumstances. So take these tips, do your homework, and always choose a solution that's fast, efficient, legal, and safe. So stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next one.